you are forbidden from going to see them ever again. Do you hear me? Do you understand? Babe. Don't babe me. Do not babe me. Why would you go to Papa Gio to talk about my matter? Why? To discuss me? For what reason? This should be the last time. The last time you ever go there. Do you understand? Don't, don't push me. a liar. Every spirit of confusion, every spirit of hatred, anger, attacking my husband, every spirit of manipulation, I cast you now. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cast you out of my husband. I cast you out of my husband. Father Lord, restore him. Restore him. Restore him. Give him the insight to know that it's just you, O God. Let him be obedient to his master. In the name of Jesus. Pregnant for me? What do you mean with this sentence, you pregnant for me? Huh? Have you not been the only one sleeping with me, like touring with this buddy? Okay, I get it. But please calm down. Don't don't shout. People passing the corridor. Mm. Pastor Israel, you're getting married to me. Yes, you're getting married to me. Just me, and I am not going to be a second wife. What are you saying? I have a family, I have a wife already. What, what, what Annabella, what is this? Ah. Now you have a family and a wife. So you never knew you had a family and a wife when you were touring with me, when you were playing with me, right? When you're sleeping with me without protection. But you insisted on no protection. That's what you said. <laughs> I was just doing what you wanted. I, I, I was just doing what you wanted. Like you never enjoyed it. Hmm? You were sleeping with me without protection. I wanted it. Yes, but you were busy pouring your semen in me. Oh, you think it won't yield a child? Hmm. Uh, you're getting married to me. Yes. And Pastor Israel, we can do this. We can make it work. Look at me. I can sing. I can preach. I can take care of things. Ah, just take a look at it. I, I graduated from the best university you can ever get in this country. What else do you want? Hmm? What else do you want? Eh? Look at me. I have the strong business IQ that would take the church to another level. So what do you want? Hmm? What do you want that you cannot get from me? What will people say? What will the church members say? Are you thinking about that? It is not so simple. Come on, forget about what the church will say. You are the pastor. You can always hook up something to tell them, like the Spirit of God led you to this. Mm -hmm. Or better still, accuse your wife of adultery. I leave my wife out of this. Leave my wife out of this, please. My wife has been faithful to me. I cannot accuse her of adultery. Okay. Okay, that's that's impossible. Now listen, Pastor. You're getting married to me. And just me. And I'm never gonna be a second wife. Never! <sighs> we paid the doctors. Oh, to fake the DNA test that the unborn child of Angela wasn't mine. We framed him. Oh, my goodness. Paid them 20 million. They agreed to do it. And then I brought in this. Oh, God, this. Lady called Annabella. I brought her in because she told me she was pregnant. One week later, she had a miscarriage. I even thought it was Angela's dad who had 
gone diabolical. I confronted him. He almost killed me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just put Adabella in charge of everything. Church finances, my land. She was just literally overseeing everything at the end of the day. She left. We took everything away. So, where is she now? <laughs> The last time I saw her, she was... Oh, Jesus. She was on my matrimonial bed with another man. The very pastor who told me to start my own ministry. Jesus. Making out on my bed. Jesus Christ. Oh. I was shocked. I, I, I couldn't take it. He tried to escape. I stopped him. I was strangling him. And the next thing I knew, uh, I think Annabella hit me with something on my neck area. And before I knew it, the doctor woke me up. Or I woke up. The doctor said, I had been in coma for months. Wow. Here. Pastor Israel, where is your first wife now? I mean your real wife and the kids. I saw her. I saw her wife. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I saw my wife. She was roasted corn. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, calm down, okay? She wouldn't talk to me. She refused to talk to me. She wouldn't listen to what I had to say. How can my wife rose corn? I lost my son. It's okay. It's okay, please. It's okay. Annabella just took everything I had. The land, the church, my house, the other houses. Oh God. I lost everything. I fell short of the glory of God. I lied to myself. I failed God. I failed man. I couldn't handle the mantle of God. I don't want to live in. I just want to die. Pastor Israel, we serve a living God. We serve a God of second chance, okay? You're going to be fine. You're going to bounce back again and it's going to be better and even stronger, okay? You know what, Pastor Israel? You are a pastor, so you should know. We serve a God of second chance. He will give you another chance. Yes. He will give you that, okay? Yes. I hope so. He will. Yeah. Get it on yourself now. <laughs> 
me to my husband's hospital. Take me to my husband's hospital. <laughs> 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 Oi, madame, madame, sorry, that could be. While I was praying, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, you in particular don't deserve a child. Yes. Pastor, no, I deserve a child. I deserve a child. Pastor, I have been barren for years. Please, I deserve a child. Please don't say that, please. That baby left your womb because of the way you treated another woman's child, like a trash. Angela, Angela, hey, hey, Pastor, please, please, I am sorry, please, I am so sorry, please, Pastor, help me. That woman you sent out of your husband's house is going through a torment. I don't know who she is, but then the Holy Spirit ministered to me. And he said, as long as she is in pain, you and your husband will never hear a cry of a baby in your family. Hey! Hey! Hey, Pastor! I'm finished. Pastor, please. Please help me. I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Please. It's fine. It's fine. Please. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. Please. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It's okay. Sit down. <laughs> Lastly, she did not sleep with your husband. Your husband's brother planted those things in your bedroom, including the pad. Yes. Kristen? It is. Pastor, please, please help me. What do I do? Please, please. The only solution to it is you two have to look for her and apologize to her. That is the only way the Lord in his infinite mercies and kindness will hear your cry and give you a child. Consider it done, Pastor. Like she said, we've been not just she alone, we've been barren. Yes. A child. Yes. I didn't know all this was as a result of the treatment she melted out to, to that to that young woman. Please. Fine. Help us. Help us. Okay? We will. We will. Sorry. I'm sorry for, for everything. I did you wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm remorseful. I ask for your forgiveness. Please. Mama, please. Please. I'm so sorry. 
Well, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You are welcome back, my lost son. Stand up. You are welcome back. Thank you. My lost son. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Angel. 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 It's me. Angel. I'm so sorry. Junior. Junior. I'm not Junior. I'm not Junior. I'm not Junior. My son. It's, it's me, Israel. Israel. I'm not Junior. Angel, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. I, I, I framed you because I wanted to bring Annabella into my house. I am so sorry. I will never do that again. I regret. Forgive me, please. Okay? I'm sorry. My son. I'm not your son. I'm not your son. It's Israel. From Naya. They took your sister from there. Took your sister to the village. She went to see Grandpa. She went to see Grandpa. Yes. That's all it's right. They took her baby away from her. Eyewitness said they saw two men and they were dragging the baby with her. And these men are armed. Sadly, they could not do anything to her. They brought her to the church and to the glory of God, I know she will be fine. Pastor, if you permit me, I would like to step into her medical case. Because a case like this is so shocking and it's inhuman. I, it will take some time for her to regain her memory, but I will create time for her. In fact, I have a colleague of mine who is a psychiatric doctor. Both of us teaming up together will be able to help her to gain her memory back. It just needs time, but it will. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Bella is a medical doctor and a surgeon. I am sure with the help of some of her colleagues, they can help her situation. I must thank you. Hmm? Welcome, we really appreciate you. I can't wait to see her regain her sanity. It, it will only take time, but Shirley will help her. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. You. Don't worry. You'll be going to be well. Yeah, yeah she, she will. Fine. But it will take time, but she will get better. <laughs> Check, check everywhere. 
Bina, my son, the rope that binds your hands is loosed. Separate your hands and it will fall off. Your captors are deeply asleep and the door is open. Carry the baby and run immediately. Wrong. 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 Papa. 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 Move. If you move, I will shoot your leg. Speak! Please don't, don't, don't kill me, please. My name is Obina. Uh, please, I, I, I managed to escape with this baby from the hands of ritual killers. Where is the mother of the child? I don't know. They brought the baby to where I was tied inside the bush. Uh, let's go. This place is not good for you. Let's go fast, fast. Let, let's go, let, let's go. So that was how I escaped from the bush. With the help of your hunter from that village, he gave me the money to come back to the village. And he led me to a path where I can follow so that the police won't stop me and demand for the mother of this child. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> this is serious. Very, very. Mbako. The people are very wicked and heartless. So wicked. Mojo. So this is how you would have been dead with this innocent baby. God is great. <laughs> God, I thank you. Dear Lord, I worship you. Ah! Oh, we thank God you're safe. And the baby is also safe. Oh, such a beautiful baby. God is Lady Ruth, what a beautiful baby. I wonder the state of the mother right now. Hmm? Obin. Yes, Uncle. 
So you didn't see Choma, your elder sister? No, I did not. <laughs> the most important thing is that you're safe. Thank God. Thank God. God is wonderful. She's sleeping? Yes, she's still sleeping. Obin. Yes, ma'am. What is the fate of this child? Uncle, right now, I can't say. But I just want the baby to be safe. Let them not accuse us of kidnapping her. Uncle, don't worry. I just want the safety of this baby. For it's alright. It's alright. for everything I did to you. Everything. I am sorry. Please. Please forgive me. Forgive me, please. I know I accused you wrongly. I insulted you. I fought you, but I'm sorry. Have mercy on me, please. Please, Angela, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It's okay. Thank you. I forgive you. you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I know you have a good heart. was your night? Fine. Your father was in my dream. He was asking for your forgiveness. Forgive him. I forgive everyone. My love, please forgive me. Forgive me for all that I did to you. Against you. I am so sorry. I deeply regret everything I did. I am so sorry. Deeply sorry. I'm remorseful, please. Let me start children. It's all right. Don't cry. Let me start so Don't cry, please. <laughs> Okay. And <laughs> memories can't leave me. It's all right. Don't cry. It's okay. Let me so baby. Oh, innocent baby. It's okay. That is what he said I should do. <laughs> 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 
Mama, Pastor Israel. Pastor Israel. thank you very much. Uh, my wife and I, we have something we want to tell you. Okay. We wish to go to Angela's hometown soon. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a good news. When are we talking about? Tomorrow, Daddy. Just tomorrow? Yes. Oh, my God. That's all right. I would have loved to go with you people tomorrow. Oh, Papa, I really wish you would have gone with us. Would have been, would have been but, amazing. Uh, but I have a program. But you can use any of the cars. My driver is there to take you to her village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. We appreciate it. Hmm. Angela. Pastor Israel, I am so happy for both of you. Now that both of you are united as man and wife, I know, I know the devil took what you might think is very important. But you know what? Funny enough, he took nothing. Because greater is he that is in you than him that is in the world. Amen. So Jesus. Took absolutely Amen. nothing from both of you. And your lives did not go for it. Angela, stop crying. I am happy to have both of you back. What a beautiful couple. And Pastor Israel, I know this ugly experience will serve as a lesson, especially to you. Yes, yes. Please, please try to remain strong in your faith. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to rest his hands of mercy upon both of you in Jesus' Amen. name. We thank you. We, we are extremely grateful. We appreciate all that you've done for us. We thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Pastor Israel, Angela, this is a token from my husband and I to both of you to start afresh. And if you ever need anything from us, do not hesitate to come. Knock on our door. This is like your home too, you know. Yes. So take this as a token from both of us. All this stuff. We are grateful. It's okay. We are so grateful. Pastor, it's okay. 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 It's
I pray for you today. I decree and I declare Amen. that the hours of pain, reproach, and shame is over. Amen. Amen. I also pray for both of you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. That affliction will not arise for the second time. Amen. And I said, it is well with your soul. Amen. Amen. It is well with your soul. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So we had to break in. So I think they are dead. Jesus, you mean these people died in my hotel? Yeah. Are they husband and wife? Sir, I don't really know. You have to check your record to know their marital status, okay? And I'm going to call the police immediately. Deception is real. I just want me a joker. From grace to grass. Beware of them, wealthy ship clothing. Adani. Adani, is this you? How are you? I'm fine, sister. You are welcome. Please sit down. Welcome. Sister, where is Junior? Died of stroke. Jesus! No, 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 no! Papa! 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 Hey! He's alive! Oh my goodness! Papa! Hey! Oh my God! No! Oh no! 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 Back then, 
because you were going through a lot. I mean, we were going through a lot. Everybody was going through a lot. That's why I didn't tell you. It's okay. <laughs> Pastor Duke said he died of stroke. <laughs> I am partly to be blamed because the lies that I told <laughs> partly to be blamed. I'm so, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are right. That month you came to confess that you paid the doctors to lie about the DNA. Papa couldn't take the heat and the trauma. He was diagnosed with stroke and died that same night. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You say it's okay. Yes. of searching for you in the city. I was kidnapped by some ritual killers. A day later, the same ritual killers brought in this baby with me. But I managed to escape with the child. I'm me, you're 